Creating simulations starts by selecting a photograph and then adding smoke and fire elements. So for example, for a strip mall, selecting my picture, and then adding in my smoke and fire. I can use the controls to make things larger, or smaller, rotate, and use this pencil tool to change things like the brightness, opacity, color, delay timing, and many other properties. When I'm done adjusting my smoke, I can add more elements. I use the same simple controls to be able to set the conditions that I want for my scenario. If I want to drop elements behind others, I can use the visual order control. And rapidly create interesting scenarios based on the photos of my first do. When I'm ready to run the scenario, press play, and we're off and running. This has been a very simple example to show you how to make a scenario. You can make scenarios with navigation and many other elements that change either over time or dynamically with keystrokes or button presses. Look for the other videos to see the more elaborate examples. Thank you for your attention.